Well, it's a horrible day. It's blowing drizzle, gale force winds. I was going to go out to Tekton, but it would have made for an absolutely awful video. It would have been windy as hell. So in order to get away from the wind, I'm going into some valleys in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful wooded valleys with some mines. And with any luck, I'll be able to find some tunnels to climb into and have a look around with the video camera. I may find something good, I may not. Please watch on. How cool is that? Behind me we've got a collapsed man-made tunnel. It's been made like dry stone wall style, no cement, just with skill hundreds of years ago. Part of it's collapsed and now we can see the stream coming out here. I'll show you other parts of this because it's absolutely beautiful. And when the weather warms up above freezing, well well above freezing, I think next summer, I'm going to get the dry suit on and I'm going to go through these tunnels because there's some really interesting places to explore here. I've got a bit here that's totally collapsed. Probably about 10 foot has just dropped in. But there's a nice big stream coming through it. And in the summer, there's actually trout in here. So I'm going to really look forward to going through here in the dry suit with a GoPro on and try and get some footage of the fish that live in these tunnels. Whoa, look at that. The stream's totally worn away the river bed. And if you look in the middle of the screen now, you can actually see out the bottom of this tunnel. It must be oh, 100 meters long, maybe. Look at the roof. Absolutely beautifully made. Just by slotting stones together. Incredible. There's a tunnel behind me that looks quite accessible. So I think we should have a look up there. Behind me there, there's all these stones piled up against the side. Somebody's been in here and cleaned out the whole of the bottom of this tunnel. Not quite sure why, but they've done a good job. They've literally just built a wall with all of the stuff that had fallen in here. And it seems pretty clear up there, so let's get into it. There you can see the bottom of this has all been cleaned out. Chucked up onto the side there. Old bits of wood there from when it was first put in. Absolutely incredible. Footprints here. So there's obviously been somebody up here. Uh, I have no idea where this goes either or how far it goes on for. So it's very interesting to find that out. Somebody's done a hell of a job of this. It's totally clean. Oh, what? 
Look at that, man. There's a little offshoot going up there. That's just super cool. Yes. I don't know whether they were actually mining there or not, but right at the top there, it looks like a big old sleeper across the top. I don't know whether that was actually a mine or... Oh, look at that. Above me here, we've got one of the original timbers holding up all these stones. Hundreds of years old. Look at all the stuff piled up here. It's been totally cleaned out. Oh, that's it. Comes to an end. Oh, wow, man. What a beautiful little stream coming in here, and look at the way it's cut into that rock. I can't see how far that goes up, and it's a little bit tight. I don't want to get stuck in there. Well, here we are at the very top of this tunnel. I can't see daylight down there now. It does bear round to the right a little bit, but... It's a long way in, and it's all been cleaned out. Behind me, it's just totally collapsed, absolutely knackered. So while this roof is extremely strong, very stable, I'm going to go now. My light's flickering a little bit as well. I don't want that to go out. <laughs> Damn it. The main light's knackered. I'm just going to have to go out with a headlight. It's not going to be much fun. There you go. Hey, there we go. That's better. Ah, pause. Nah, I was going to go up there, like have a look what's up there, but I can't get in. It's a little bit tight. Not to worry. Yeah, that's looking up that little first offshoot again. Seems to just end up there. Just to give you some idea of scale. Here's me, reasonably wide. Some would say a fat. Here's the the walls, and here's the roof. It's quite a tight fit, and I don't really want to be in here much longer. I'm not a fan of small spaces, but this has been very interesting. I've really enjoyed this. Here we are looking out of that little tunnel that I was sitting in there. And here's the beams. There's actually two of them. And I presume they'd probably be oak or some sort of hardwood. And they're holding up all of this stuff. So hopefully they'll continue to hold it up whilst I get back out into the big tunnel. There's a moth in there. Don't know whether it's alive, but it's absolutely covered in condensation. Yeah, seems to be alive. I'm just going to leave it. Wow, I've just noticed this above me. Look at that. It's like a little air shaft. It's only about maybe 12 inches by 8 inches seems to go all the way up and it's blocked at the top by that stone. Lovely. Well, I don't think I need the light on now. So I can see the end of the tunnel. There is indeed light at the end of the tunnel.
try and find some more cool stuff. Here's another cool little tunnel. Oh, way too small to climb into that one. But it looks like rabbits have been going in. Now this here looks like it would be in the top of a mine or some sort of tunnel, I would imagine. And with all of this spoil and rock down here, there might be some mines up over the top of here, which I've never seen before, so I'm gonna have a look. stream coming out of a hole, definitely worth investigating. Oh, need the diving gear on to get into that one. Now my US viewers are gonna absolutely love this. Look at that, Blanchland Abbey, 1165. That is an old building. As many viewers know I'm not exactly Mr. Religion, but this is a beautiful building. If you're anywhere in Northumberland near Blanchland, call in and have a look. It's ancient. And I've, I feel wrong speaking in here. It's a very quiet, subdued place. Now what a nice day, I should really come back here and show you around this little village. This is Blanchland, that's the pub and local inn. That goes way back as well, we've got this village square. You're not allowed to have satellite dishes on your house here, although a few people do have them on the backs of their roofs because there's been numerous period dramas filmed here for both BBC and ITV. It's a really interesting place. This is a tiny little humpy back bridge leading out. We've got all these mining cottages. There's ruins absolutely everywhere. There's ruined farms everywhere. The, my God, there must have been so many people up here back in the day. All the way along here has obviously been hewn out of the bank side to make it flat for access to something. So I'm gonna follow this and see where it leads. It's hellish slippy. There's another tunnel. You can actually see the end of that one. It's possibly about 70, 80 meters long. 
some cool little artifacts laid out here obviously by the people who've been clearing out these tunnels and fixing up all these walls and everything it's nice to see looks like it's off a big old pot all sorts of things they've obviously been found by whoever's doing the work and put out here very nice here's a really deep well what I can assume is a water race looks like that would be used to channel water from the mines and talking of mines we've got another little hole here ah it's all blocked in that one well that saves me climbing through this tiny little hole to investigate That's a really nice touch. Somebody's made a circle out of all the spa with a little heart-shaped stone in the middle. Everywhere you look around here there's old human activity. You've got a hole here which could have been a mine entrance, could have been a, a water outlet from a mine. And then above that you've got a proper cobbled road. Halfway up the bank side. Awesome! Bear in mind that hundreds of years ago, when this was being mined every single day of the week, none of these trees would be here. These are all recent trees, probably no more than 50, 60 years old. And this bit behind me looks like it's been a reservoir. There's a channel comes in here, and there's another one goes out at the far end. This is very flat. It seems to have some sort of wall or structure creating the level or holding back what would have been water so I can only imagine that this reservoir was used to power some sort of rudimentary tool or engine or something like that down where they did the mining. Absolutely dripping in history. 